Bring it up, sir. Yes. So are you the, uh, the basically the designer, the architect of oh, this? Oh, I'm not a designer. No, sir. I'm not going to uh, take that uh, credit. Uh, I'm one of a team of brilliant fellows who have made this thing. And uh, that's, that's it. Uh, so how many guys actually have worked on this? Probably uh, who have actually been the, the driving force behind it. It's probably been about five guys, but probably the people who have worked on it are upwards of up 20. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of uh, forward thinkers in management who have pushed it. There's been a lot of brilliant engineers who have worked on specific ideas of it. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, assembly technicians who have, who have actually made some of the things. There's a, a pretty good team of, of individuals who have worked it. Not only that, they've also pulled in uh, technologies from other some of our other products and some of our other uh, technologies from other companies and, and incorporate it all together. But uh, just a, one of a, of a group of many guys who uh, all have the same end result in mind is to put a, a, a really good system in the hands of our soldiers and uh, to help protect their lives and to project uh, our uh, our armament and our observation forces out beyond where uh, it's def uh, necessarily safe to have a man. When you were in uh, development, did you guys have a code name for this? Uh, no, it's always been pretty much Mars, Mars. which is the uh, Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot.